Dirty Dealings, Corporate Battles, Consumer Wars. This is Evening 5. The government has agreed to exempt unit trusts from taxes on capital gains and foreign sourced income. Finance Minister Tu Dato Sri Amir Hamza Azizan said the exemption on foreign sourced income takes effect from January 1, 2024 until December 31, 2026. While the exemption on capital gains tax is effective from January 1, 2024 until December 31, 2028. Amir said this in his keynote address at the launching of Bursa Malaysia as a multi-asset exchange earlier today. He said that through the various engagements Putrajaya has had on this matter, it has come to the administration's attention that one unintended area impacted by the capital gains tax is unit trusts. The government noted that over 90% of unit trust holders are individuals and the administration wants to ensure the people continue to benefit wholly from the gains of their hard-earned money and invest for their future. He added that the government will continue to make capital market investments in Malaysia rocket-friendly. Putrajaya introduced the capital gains tax in Budget 2024. The Malaysian Automotive Association, or MAA, is set to engage with the government soon over speculation that the high-value goods tax may be applied to luxury cars that are priced above 200,000 ringgit. MAA President Mohamed Shamso Mohamed Zain acknowledged the necessity of implementing the new tax, but highlighted that the automotive industry is already heavily taxed. This dialogue would take place before the end of February, with the implementation of the tax expected in May. On a separate note, he said new motor vehicle sales in Malaysia are expected to decline by 7.5% in 2024, amid an expected slowdown in global economic growth. This follows record sales of 799,731 units last year. Total industry volume in 2023 reached an all-time high, following an 11% year-on-year jump from 721,177 units in 2022, marking two consecutive years of sales closing above the 700,000 mark. The jump in 2023 was on the back of successful tax-free car bookings and new model launches, increased socio-political stability, a strong domestic economy and improved industry supply chain conditions. MSM Malaysia Holdings said the utilisation factor for its unit's MSM Sugar Refinery Johor is expected to increase to 50% in FY 2024 from 40% currently, following the completion of the second boiler rectification work. MSM Group COO Hasni Ahmad said MSM Johor had completed the second boiler change at works last May. He told reporters this during a media visit to MSM Johor, which is in the initial stages of procuring a third boiler. Based on a single boiler, MSM Johor achieved a daily melting rate of 1,039 tonnes in October 2023 with a utilisation factor of 34.6%, followed by 1,308 tonnes in November 2023 at a utilisation factor of 43.6%. The anticipated daily melting rate for December 2023 is 1,416 tonnes, with a utilisation factor of 47.2%. On exports, he said there is tremendous headroom to grow overseas sales, with an over 5 million tonne per year market in the Asia-Pacific from the current 4 million tonnes due to MSM Johor's strategic geographical position in the supply chain. Heavy selling resumed in shares of Rapid Synergy and YNH Property. Companies linked to businessman Dato Dr. Yu Kwan Chon as the two counters hit limit down again this evening to extend the sell off that accelerated since January 5th. Rapid Synergy shares fell 29.9% to 5 ringgit 65, while shares of YNH tumbled 29.96% to 1 ringgit 73. In its last five trading days, including today, the counter lost a total of 17 ringgit 75 cent per share, or 76% of value, from its January 9th close of 23 ringgit 40 cent, resulting in a loss of 1.9 billion ringgit in market capitalization. 
In that same period, YNH has lost one ringgit fifty-seven cent per share, or forty-seven point five eight percent of its value from its January 9th close of three ringgit thirty cent. The company has lost eight hundred and twenty-nine point seven three million ringgit in market value. Meanwhile, Imas Pro Corp, another Dr. Yu linked company, saw its shares fall eighteen point four seven percent to one ringgit twenty-eight cent in intraday trade. The counter has lost sixty-three point two percent, or two ringgit twenty cent per share, since January. January 9th, culminating in 170.4 million ringgit in market value erased. Combined, all three counters saw 2.897 billion ringgit in market capitalization wiped out in just the five day period. MS Pro shares, however, recouped some losses towards today's trading close to settle at 1 ringgit 37. BLD Plantation has acquired two properties in Bintulu, Sarawak for 24 million ringgit for its business expansion. In a boss filing, the Sarawak-based Plantation Group said its unit, Kinrara Palm Oil Refinery, had entered into separate sale and purchase agreements with Sharikat Sebangun for a 1.4533 hectare property for 7 million ringgit and a 3.459 hectare property for 17 million ringgit. The purchase considerations were determined through negotiations on a willing buyer willing seller basis, taking into account the market value of the properties. The group added that the proposed acquisitions align with its future business expansion plans, considering the strategic location and easy accessibility of the land for potential development. The deals will be funded via a combination of internally generated funds and bank borrowings. They are to be completed within three months from the date of the inking of the agreements. Shares in BLD Plantation were last traded at 11 ringgit 20 cent, giving the group a market capitalization of 1.05 billion ringgit. <laughs>